So this is Blind Folk by Divine, and uh, they make a lot of other kind of games that look like this. Um, you know, white lines on a black background, pretty nice design. Um, they also make music under the name Alice Effect, which is the backing to this video. So Blind Folk was made for the 2016 Global Game Jam, and the theme is that you're programming a fighting style for a blind fighter in an arena. And it's multiplayer too, so whoever's written a fighting style and has it ready and respawned when the next turn comes up, the next day as they call it, um, will run their scripts and move around this grid. Now, of course you're blind, which means you can't see anything, and neither as you, the programmer, can you see anything. So you don't know where your blind folk is gonna appear, you don't know who's gonna be next to them, but what you do have is a programming language that uh, helps you interact with the environment. So you have a couple of basic actions. You can uh, step in four directions, you can um, turn your character and you can attack. Uh, you can also say things which just get logged into the, uh, the chat effectively of what happened. There's also some cases. So in the case that you're attacked, you can run specific code. So if somebody bumps into you and attacks you, you could backstep and attack them. Or um, if you collide with somebody when they bump into you, you could do a different thing. Maybe you don't want to kill people, maybe you just want to survive. So we can design a fighter in here and save our script, and when the next day happens, our code will be run with everybody else. So we could do something like um, step forward. We don't know what direction we're facing, we don't know where, I believe it's just a grid, but I don't. we don't know where on the grid we're gonna appear, especially relative to everyone else, but we might as well step forward. We could say something like, um, taking a stroll in the park. So in the case that we collide with somebody when we move forward, we can handle that case collide. And this only happens when you move into somebody else, and since we're only choosing to move forward, um, we know they'll be in front of us. So we can case collide, attack, dot forward. And after we attack, we should say something cool like, have at the. So I'm gonna just wait for the timer to tick down and we'll see what our fighter did. So here we are on day 212, and it looks like we went first. So we moved from 00, zero to zero 01, so we walked up one tile. A bunch of other people move, collide, attack each other. Then I say, just taking a stroll in the park. And then a little later, Blindfolk72 attacks me and kills me. And then he taunts at me saying, you never stood a chance. That's very sad. So now if we want to keep playing, we have to respawn over here. And we should probably modify our fighting style. Um, maybe we should always attack every time we walk attack dot forward. We could um, also turn left attack dot forward, turn right attack dot forward. Actually we only need to turn left and attack and then come back because we've already attacked forward earlier. So basically as we walk we'll attack, we'll turn to our left and attack and then we'll turn back. So we'll still move in a straight line, but we'll be kind of attacking on both sides. So I'm going to save that out, and we'll see what happens next time. So now it's day 213, and we attempt to move, but are blocked by number two. We collide with number two. We counter, and we attack number two. But number two counters and attacks somebody else. So it doesn't look like we got him because they counterattacked, but they counterattacked someone else, so we're safe. Um, a lot of other people moving around. Aha! Oh, it looks like we eventually did get them. Have at the... Just moving around again, taking a stroll in the park. We attack at nothing. Move around, move around. Oh, it looks like we got killed. Number 79 collides with us, attacks us and kills us, and they taunt us, hack the planet. And that's a pretty fitting end. So if you like this idea, I highly recommend you try out Blind Folk. Uh, the coolest part is if you survive a round, you don't have to click manually to respawn. Your character is automatically alive. So it's quite possible to build a script that continues running multiple rounds if you happen to survive. Um, I'm not sure if there's an optimal strategy for this or if the random placement is a little too much, but I'm sure someone's cooking up something good.